What is up Interceptor Squad? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is probably just going to be a very, very short video. I am also going to PAX East. If you guys don't know what PAX is, it's basically a gaming convention up in Boston. So I'll be up there um, next week from Wednesday to Saturday. So I'll be doing a lot of filming around the city. Probably try to capture, you know, some... Um, uh, the cop cars up there, uh, see if I can capture them responding, see if we can get some in-service Tauruses. We can spot some Crown fix up there and stuff like that, but that's not what this video is about. Um, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to do some mods to the Taurus. Nothing too, too crazy, um, but I want to do some mods to the Taurus that may affect my dealership warranty. And I'm going to be talking uh, a little bit about that and why dealership warranties the not so good side of a dealership warranty. Now for me personally, my warranty is actually a very good one. It was only a couple thousand dollars extra on top of the car um, and it pretty much covers everything right inside there, which is the most expensive you know, stuff on the whole car is the engine. So pretty much the biggest things I was looking for in this warranty was the transmission, which it covers, and um, the water pump. Now the Tauruses or the Interceptor sedans, uh, they have been known to have water pump issues. Um, so that was a plus when I saw that in the warranty list, I was like, I need that. See with the utilities, you have the whole carbon monoxide scare so I mean no car is perfect every car has you know its issues even the good old big bad Crown Vic had its issues so um, but luckily the warranty does cover you know pretty much everything it even covers little stuff like the brakes the tires and stuff like that um, but like I said again the biggest thing that I was looking for when getting this warranty was the transmission and the water pump and those are covered so that's good I believe for 124,000 miles or two years so but there is a downside to having a warranty, which is modding your car. And a lot of people don't tell you this, but certain, um, you know, depending on, you know, where you get your warranty and stuff, um, they may not allow you to modify your car in certain ways because then if something goes wrong, they'll try to blame it on you installing, you know, that part. For example, I wanted to put a remote start in my car um, for the winter time. I mean, now we're kind of getting a little bit into the warmer weather. Um, we're seeing less and less snow and stuff like that. So I don't really need a remote start now, but it would be really nice. It would have been nice to have one during the winter, but I was told be careful about putting remote starts in your car because it may void your warranty. Even when I brought my car back, when I first got my car, um, you know, like eight, nine months ago and it needed a new uh, catalytic converter replaced, the dealership called me and said, hey, did you do anything to your car? Did you modify it in any way? And I said, no, obviously. Um, but yeah, they, they did call to, to check to make sure I didn't do anything to the car that would have set that off. Which kind of does suck because the warranty, like I said, again, it is a very, very good warranty. It covers, you know, some very expensive parts of my car, but at the same time, there's a downside because I don't want to, you know, put, you know, anything really on my car because I don't want to have, you know, the chances of voiding the warranty. Now, I did hear that um, from a couple other people that uh, you can put a remote start um, and, you know, they have to basically prove that that is what, you know, screwed something up. I mean, it's a whole long, annoying process, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's a headache. And um, that's why this mod that I want to do, I kind of want to wait on it, but at the same time, I just want to say screw it and put it on. And that is... An exhaust. Yes, I want to put an exhaust on the Taurus and I've wanted to put an exhaust on my Crown Vic. If you guys followed my channel from the very beginning, you guys know that um, I didn't even want to keep my Crown Vic looking like a cop car. Literally, when I discovered the police interceptor community is when, you know, I wanted to kind of keep it the just original look pretty much. Um, but my plans for the Crown Vic were never to keep it the way it was. You know, I didn't even want the spotlights on my Crown Vic. I wanted to put an exhaust on it and smoke that headlights. That was my original, original plan for my Crown Vic. And then, you know, obviously I kept it, you know, original and kind of went a little bit overboard here and there. But, um, you know, and then obviously, sadly, my Crown Vic got totaled and now I have my Taurus. Um, and obviously the push bar is getting installed. We're going to get some off-road um, off fog lights on the push bar. They're going to be like a yellow kind of Baja off-road. I think it'll look really cool. Um, and then I also want to put an exhaust. Now, the exhaust isn't going to be something crazy. Um, and I was actually researching and looking up different videos on YouTube of other people who have Tauruses, not specifically the police interceptor, but you know, the SHO or just a regular Taurus um, who have exhausts on it. And I was just kind of looking and looking through, you know, Magnaflo, Magnaflo Borla, uh, all these other exhaust companies, just something to give it a little bit more of a rumble. I mean, 
The Taurus is a V6. It is very, it's a lot quieter compared to the Crown Vic, but obviously it's a lot faster. It has a lot more power than the Crown Vic does. Um, but it's just, it's so quiet. I mean, if you really step down on the pedal, the, the engine will come to life. You'll hear it roar. But I mean, it's just so quiet. And I've always wanted, I, I don't know, to be honest, I think it'd be really, really cool to have an exhaust on it. And I think that's my, what I might do. And Magna Flow makes an exhaust that isn't, it's not so, it's not loud per se. It's more deeper. It has more of a deeper rumble to it. So basically when you start the car, it's not like, wicked super loud like a freaking mustang gt or something it's kind of more mellow but it just gives the car almost like a rumble like a deeper like it basically sounds like the car has more power if that makes any sense so i'm not 100 percent sure on this mod yet you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think i posted on instagram and a lot of you guys said i think it would be really cool to put an exhaust setup on the taurus um like I said, again, it's not going to be anything crazy. I don't want anything stupid loud on it. Um, but I think that would be a cool little mod to add to the Taurus. Um, but like, again, like I said, again, I'm kind of worried because of the whole warranty issue. And that's the thing that sucks about having a warranty tied to your car. I mean, it's good, but it also has its downside as well. If you ever want to try to mod it in any way, um, you know, you just got to be careful with that. So um, I'm still on the fence, a little iffy, so maybe you guys, the Interceptor Squad over here on YouTube can kind of push me in the right direction. What do you guys think? Exhaust yes or exhaust no? Um, and let me know down below in the comments. Also, before I do go, um, I was also thinking about, well, obviously, when the summertime comes, this is obviously just uh, blackout tape, as you guys can see. But once the summer comes, it's going to be plasty tipped black, plasty dipped black. Um, all around and I actually want to take this out and get the Ford logo in black It would still say Ford in chrome, but instead of the blue it would be black to match the black stripe I think it would look cool. I'm not a little sharp probably Photoshop it to see you know play around with it See what it looks like but obviously, you know, you got the black interceptor emblem You got the black all-wheel drive and it would be pretty cool to have the black Ford logo the silver uh, lettering So it kind of look like that almost I think it would look pretty cool I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but that's something I was thinking that's that's literally something stupid stupid small and then obviously we got the red brake calipers coming in very, very soon. I was actually going to do it today, um, but it was just way too windy and I don't want, you know, overspray or anything like that. The tires are extremely freaking dirty, but yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, you know, I have been thinking about putting some mods. I want, I still want a remote start um, and then obviously I want the exhaust, but I have to make sure that that's not going to void the warranty in any way. So I'm going to PAX next week, so I will, probably won't be filming anything about my car. I'll probably be filming, you know, in-service police car stuff like that. And then the week after PAX, I'm getting my push bar installed. And we're probably going to have to meet up a couple other uh, people with Tauruses. A couple of Intercept Utilities are going to be a really fun meetup. A little bit of a road trip. But I cannot wait for that, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one.